most amazing time. Just had a tour around. The detail is just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I'm not joking. I've only brought clothes for the photo shoot. I'm so excited that they asked me. And how lucky are we? I'm glad that wasn't my bit. I honestly don't know how I'm going to get there. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what are we Good morning, it is bank holiday Monday and we are out for a walk and it's pouring with rain, it's very pretty in the woods, there are a few li little bits of bluebells around, can you see here, um, just popping up amongst the wild garlic. Um, so I've got my sister up who's been staying with us with all her children and we've escaped, we've left all the children with the grandparents and we have headed out for a wet, it is actually really wet, but I have got these trousers on, these are the Akai trousers that I'm going to put a link to and they've sent them to me and they say they're waterproof and I was like really? They are, I'm literally loving them. So I've got those on with my top as well, here we go, let me show you the top label there you go so you can see that i have worked with the brand over on instagram so i really like them so i thought i'm gonna put this wet uh, gear into action and just test it and actually they're really uh good no water is coming through i could do with a an umbrella or a hat though i've got a hood which is a bit annoying so i've just put it down oh my gosh it's very muddy 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 Yesterday we had the first sunny day up here in Yorkshire that we've had this year and we sat outside for the first time, we had a barbecue and it was just glorious, it was really really lovely. We had the day at Grantley Hall and we went to the spa there so if you missed that vlog go back and watch it because honestly the spa there is amazing. We just had the most amazing time. So this week is very busy as usual. I'm running around all over the place. My sister's heading back today. Um, my mum and dad are heading back today and then I want to get organised and sort out my week because all these bank holidays are really confusing and making me behind on everything. I've got a, I'm down in London on Wednesday and then I'm going very somewhere very exciting on Thursday. It's literally a full on jam packed busy busy week but I'm excited uh, to share it all with you so don't forget to hit like if you haven't already done so and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and tell everybody about watching this um, and I will be back later on once I finish this very very wet walk Good afternoon, we are in York. We're at the Principal Hotel. We've just met Simone and we've just had a tour around the building. It's like absolutely stunning. We've just been looking at um, venue space for our event that we're organizing. Um, and I just wanted to quickly show you around. It's so lovely. Good afternoon, um, I've just had a parcel arrive from LK Bennett 
Um, this is a part of a collaboration that I'm working on over on Instagram. So let me just get it out and I can show you. So here it is. How beautiful is this? The detail is just gorgeous. So it is been in their shop for quite a while now, but it's still, it's not on the sale or anything like that. It's pretty much new. So the, obviously a V-neck cardigan. I think you'd probably wear it almost as a jumper rather than a cardigan, although the buttons do actually undo properly. I absolutely love the detail, like the quality of their products are just gorgeous. So this is quite sheer on here and then, oh, it's lovely. It's like almost like a little silk and then it's got quite a thick cardigan. It's actually a really warm day. So I'm thinking, when am I gonna wear this? When am I gonna wear it? Let me turn it round so I can just show you the back. And then it goes all the way down and then there's the little detail on the cuffs and on the bottom as well. So I think this will look really nice with a pair of jeans. And yeah, I'm just going to really look forward to wearing this piece. It's just beautiful, isn't it? made it to Maidenhead with this bag. Oh my gosh, I'm not joking. This is like the heaviest bag ever known to man. How am I gonna make this down to Eastbourne tomorrow? I really don't know. Literally, I feel like I've run a marathon and I've just got a bag full of clothes. I'm slightly uh, worried about how I'm gonna get there. <laughs> Anyway, it's now raining, which is not what it was up in Yorkshire. What's going on with this weather? Good afternoon. I've made it down south with my big bag. I'm out with my pyjamas and wellies on that are covered in petals. I forgot to bring any. I've only brought clothes for the photo shoot, so I literally have no warm, cosy clothes. <laughs> anyway, I've just been on a work call doing walking round. I've just done the river route. And now I'm heading back and my lovely dad's gonna cook dinner. And then I need to go and get myself ready for this photo shoot. I need the fake tan out and I need to sort my nails out and get ready because tomorrow is a really big day. I am doing a photo shoot with the Hobbs team and I'm going down to the coast and staying in a hotel and I am beyond excited. I think it's gonna be amazing. I literally, <laughs> Can't wait, I'm so excited that they asked me to do it. Um, it's also with some lovely ladies as well. So I'll be doing lots of videos tomorrow to show you what we get up to. Um, I just hope it doesn't rain on the beach. Can you imagine if it rains, what we're gonna do? Um, so everyone pray for sunshine for tomorrow. It has been nice here. There is bits of blue coming through, but there's also been loads of thunder, which I'm a bit worried about. Anyway, I better get myself back, get my fake turn out and get sorted, ready for tomorrow's photo shoot. beautiful is it literally amazing I've just met all the Hobbs team downstairs um, and then this is the view and um, how lucky are we what a beautiful day it's literally amazing so we're gonna be doing the photo shoot all along here and um, they've been out to do a recce oh look at the pier oh my gosh it's absolutely stunning come around and look Oh look, bottle of Prosecco, that's so nice. There we go, there, look at that. 
And then in here we've got the shower. They're just, it's really nicely done. Just really cool and very modern. Really lovely. How nice is this? We're so lucky with the sunshine. It's literally amazing. What a beautiful bed. I'm just gonna do some photos and videos of this space before I wreck it all with getting all my stuff out. I've got so much stuff in there. I have logged that case from Yorkshire. It's been the biggest mission out and everyone's like, oh my gosh, it's so heavy. I didn't quite realize how heavy it was, obviously, until I started wheeling it across London. I was like, this is ridiculous. Anyway. I'm gonna get some good shots and then I'm gonna go and have a coffee, go meet all the team. Um, we're just waiting for Naomi to arrive and then Nikki's here, uh, Fran's here and then we're gonna be going to do our photo shoot. How gorgeous is that? It's just beautiful. Survive and don't fall over. shoes on the pebbles it's very pebbly and I think I've got the highest heels nobody else seems to have heels Nikki's just put some on now so Nikki is having a hair shoot done we're underneath the pier can you see up there so I'm not sure if we're actually going to go up on the pier or not but so Nikki's just having the shoot hair shoot done now it is the most glorious day so our hotel's just up there, it's not too far. And then we walk down, doing the photo shoot till about five, I think. But we are so lucky with this weather. Look how gorgeous it is. Just open your hair. I need to find my lip gloss, I don't quite know where it is. This is all the stuff up here. Amelia is just sorting it out. Jumping across rocks and all the I don't know what it is, like windbreaking things. No, it's not. I don't know what it is, but she's climbing on me bits, and I'm glad that wasn't my bit. Oh, wow! She's actually jumping. Whoa! managed to do it I'm so glad I didn't have to do the jumping so Fran is now up with her bit Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Good afternoon, I'm just heading out to do another photo shoot. So Naomi, who we're with, is actually a photographer and she's offered to take some photos for me. So we headed up to the pier, we've just done a few. Now we're gonna go up to some sort of coastal line that she knows. Um, she's got some photographs that she needs to shoot for a brand. So I'm gonna do that with her. And then she's gonna take some photos for me. So I'm wearing this pink linen suit. This is another Hobbs one. I've got with me another pink dress of Hobbs and a denim jacket. Oh, and shoes, I've got my shoes. But let me just show you where we are staying. So it is this hotel here, it's called the Port Hotel um, and it's lovely. So these are all the bedrooms where we're all staying and we're going to have dinner in there as well tonight which I'm very excited about. So this is the table where we're going to be sitting tonight. We've just got our cocktails, we've just got a espresso martini. <laughs> so now Mame's just taking photos of Fran. Yeah, that's nice. That's great. <laughs> We are out very early. We're doing a photo shoot. So I've got Fran and Naomi with me. Um, and I've got on my lovely pink dress from Hobbs and a denim jacket. It's pretty chilly. We're heading to find some beach huts. So I will, hopefully apparently they're along here. It's freezing. So we found some pretty beach huts with colors. So we're just out. Look how gorgeous the sun is coming up. We're going to head back for some breakfast now with the rest of the Hobbs team. Um, so we're just staying just along there. Literally you can see the wheel and the pier and we're just up there. So we're going to stay um, for a bit longer afterwards and then we're going to pack up our bags and then I've got to make the mission up to Yorkshire with the rail strike. So wish me luck. I honestly don't know how I'm going to get there and I need to do the school run and go out for dinner. So it's going to be a mission. Anyway, Naomi and Fran are just doing a photo shoot over here.
good afternoon from a very gorgeous um, day in Yorkshire. It's literally the most amazing, beautiful day. Um, so yesterday, it was quite um, a, quite a trip actually. I did a three hour taxi ride from Eastbourne to King's Cross. Got there and my train was then cancelled. So I was just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Anyway, I managed to then book another train, which I hope will get a refund for the one that was cancelled. And get on another train where I had obviously no seat and it was packed. So I didn't really film anything because it was really not very exciting. And I was just so tired and just so ready to get back home. So by the time I got back, it was really late. I had about 30 minutes turn around and then we went out for dinner. So we went to our, one of our local restaurants called Cora. Um, I totally recommend it if you're into your food. You can see it was really good uh, seasonal produce, not like overly expensive. We were really surprised at like the prices and everything. And we went with some friends. So it was really lovely to catch up with them and see them. So we had a really lovely evening. Got back about midnight, um, and I'm absolutely exhausted. We've been doing parties and uh, activities all morning, kids parties. I mean, and then we have a dinner party tonight, and I'm going to show you later what we're doing for this dinner party i'm very excited so we are heading off to the blue bellwood now um the kids have got some new dresses on that have been sent to them um from the team at crew clothing um so phoebe's got a beautiful dress on i'll show you to you and um, we're just lucky with the weather i'm just hoping when we get that the blue bell's not dead if you remember a few weeks ago we went and the blue bells weren't really out so they're definitely out now but they might be dead my mum was like down south they're all dead you missed it and i was like no not up here um, so I'm hoping when we get there they're not all dead. Anyway, so we can do that this afternoon and then we've got to come back and get ready for this photo shoot. I've got a load of photos that I need to edit as well. Um, so life is just one big roller coaster as usual. I think that is just my life in general. Up, down, up, down. Uh, anyway, I better go. They're all getting in the car. So we've just arrived at the Blue Bellwood. The girls have gone on ahead. I'm hoping they're still there. Are they still there? Uh, yes, bluebells are here. Thank goodness. It's rather muddy though. Uh oh, oh yes, they're still here. Look how gorgeous they are. I think we might have maybe one more week here, and then that's about it. So pretty. So here we go. We're back. It's absolutely stunning here. This is one of my favourite places. Look how beautiful it is. Like. Oh, it is just stunning. Look at that. They're all over there as well. How stunning. Everywhere, like carpets of blue, blue bells. That's V. So ever since we moved here about nine years ago, we have been here every year for a blue bell shoot. Um, so we're just going to head over there in the distance. There's a log where the kids like to sit and we go and take photos all around. That's Raph. Listen to those birds. Wow. So beautiful. Gorgeous fee. So I just wanted to show you my new border. Look at this, I'm so pleased with it. So I've just run it across here. Well, I haven't at all, my husband has. We've gone for this kind of like rustic-y look here. So that's why he's added like texture to it. Um, in case you're thinking, why is it all bumpy and what's, what's going on there? So we've added that in. We've obviously got this lovely mirror that's lit up and I love it. And then um, James has just continued across the back here 
don't know why it's so low, but obviously because he's got it in line with that, so it just kind of finishes it all off, it looks great. So I've just showed him the wallpaper that I bought to link all of this together, and he's just said it's absolutely disgusting. So that's good. I think it's really nice. I'm going to show you. So bearing in mind, we've got these colours here. So we've got this kind of like raspberry, the pink and the green. And then it's kind of naturally, it's like a whitey colour. Everything else is silver. I've got the brown linking with the brown beams going up every over here. And then obviously on the shelves here, we've got brown there. So it kind of all links together. And then we've got this pink door. And then my idea is to have wallpaper here and over on this side too. So um, let me show you the wallpaper. Hold on. So this is one. This is one of my favourite brands at the moment. I absolutely love all the products. So I've gone for this. It is called this name here. I've got ten meters of it. It's quite expensive. Don't tell my husband. Um, so. I have ordered this, which I just love. I think it's gonna look fabulous up on this wall. So you can imagine that with the colors there, linking in with this lovely door. We've got the brown floor. We've got the little scallop edges there. We've got the pink there. I think it will just link in and look really nice. So I am very excited for it to go up on the wall. I'll just show you now on a bit of the wall. So I want you to imagine, right, there we go. It feels like silk, this paper. It's absolutely like stunning. It feels absolutely beautiful. Um, so here it is. I'm not sure if my husband's gonna be able to do wallpaper, but I'm gonna make him have a go. So I just think how gorgeous are those colors together? And I don't care that he doesn't like it. I love it. So I just wanted to show you what I'm wearing tonight. This is a crew clothing dress, which I have had on in like a few posts, like over the Jubilee, sorry, coronation. Oops, my brain is so low. Anyway, so over the coronation, I have this dress on and I wore it lots actually for the coronation. Um, and um, I absolutely love it because I love the way it's cut here. So it cuts just under the bust and then it kind of flows out and it's got quite a bit of fabric on the bottom and it just looks really, really nice. I feel like it's quite flattering. It's also got these lovely sleeves which kind of like butterflies, I feel. I really like them. Anyway, this is what I'm gonna be wearing tonight. I look completely over the top. My husband is wearing shorts and a shirt. Primark. Primark? Are they? What, the shorts are Primark? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Thanks, James. And the shirt is, what's your shirt? Crew. Crew, there we are. A little bit of a mixture. Anyway, I've got my heels on. I probably haven't ended up taking these off because I'm gonna be running around. But I want to show you what we are doing for dinner. We have got a really cool dinner party um, that we are doing for eight. How many people are coming? Eight. Eight. Right, let me show you that. So we have laid up all the table over here. Oh, here we go. So we've gone for a pink theme. Melissa has very kindly done the napkins. Look how cool they are. So cool, I love them. Thank you, Melissa. Um, and James has got the menu. So I'm working with a company called Finding Time. I've worked with them before. In fact, was it lockdown sort of time we did? I can't remember. Anyway, I've worked with them before. They're like a local uh, duo, two, two ladies that are friends and they have a cooking company where basically they will cook dinner party food for you. So I'm gonna put their link below. If you are local to me, then you need to know who they are because they're just amazing. So we have got tonight lots of different things. We've got a starter and a main and a dessert, all from them. And I'm gonna be photographing it to go on my Instagram page so you can actually see what the food will look like. We'll serve it up and you know lay it all out on the table over here and everyone will be eating it. But I wanted to run through what we're gonna have. So we've got a trio of dips and then there's the names of the dips, isn't there? Mm. Yes. Hello. I'm not going to read them out, but they look amazing. With baked halloumi and with baked halloumi with thyme, honey, and chili flakes. And then they've got cherry tomato tomatoes with cumin, garlic bread, garlic and not bread, garlic and lemon. And then we've got the flatbreads with it. So that's the starter. Then we have a lamb tagine and vegetable tagine because we've got a vegetarian and a vegan coming. 
Then we've got a herby couscous and roasted carrots with harissa and pomegranate. That sounds amazing. I love that. And then for dessert, we have got three different desserts, all like miniature to go on a plate. Really lovely. So we've got lime and blueberry cheesecake, which looks so good. Uh, a clementine and almond cake with creme fraiche and orange blossom syrup. Pistachio and raisin chocolate. That's, oh, we mustn't forget that. There's a little box that says chocolate. So I was thinking, what's the third? And then with it, it comes with all the allergens and ingredients. So we know exactly what was in it. Um, we've got all our cooking instructions as well. And James is just getting it all ready now, sorting it out. So once we've got some stuff on a plate, what I'm gonna do is show you what it looks like. So I'll do some little videos so you can actually see. Do you want some help? I think yeah. Yeah, I think I better go and help. So it is such a gorgeous evening. We're actually going to be sitting outside tonight. We've let, I've just put a tablecloth on the table. I've put the umbrella up, which is pretty pointless because the sun's there. But we've got a really good view. We've got a little balcony and we love to sit out there. Sorry, my husband has just made me an espresso martini. This is one of my favourite drinks. Mm. And I've got the three um, coffee beans on the top. Mm -mm. that is so good i need this i'm so exhausted oh no, that nearly fell off after my trip um to eastbourne <laughs> i'm so looking forward to tomorrow um of doing nothing um i've got loads of photos that i need to edit but apart from that we're doing the rugby run and a barbecue but we're literally gonna chill because i'm so tired I'm so exhausted so i can't wait for that um, so anyway, I just wanted to show you outside so you could see where we're going to be sitting out here and so I thought what we'd do is have some Prosecco when everyone arrived, do some cocktails, come and sit out here, then we can get the starters cooked in, in the oven um, and then get everyone sat down about eight. Then we were going to then bring out the main, which sounds really good. I just love this sort of food and then desserts and then we'll probably take coffee over into the lounge um, and have it in there. So should be a really nice dinner party really nice friends they're all friends that are all um like professionals they don't really understand what instagram is or youtube or any of that so i'm gonna have to say oh by the way i'm actually doing this collaboration they're gonna be like what's that um so i need to take some photo of the food they obviously haven't signed up for this um so <laughs> it's gonna be a really fun night they'll be like they just don't understand my world at all so it's quite nice to have friends that do not get it it's actually lovely because it's just a whole whole nother set of friends who just don't have this in their life so um i'm gonna be excited to tell them about it i have got one friend who's coming who loves hobbs so she is very excited though to hear about the photo shoot so i will be excited to tell her all about that anyway let me show you the garden and then i'll go and show you the lounge Side to side to tell my trouble come alive. I can't wait the sun is shining if the sail was in full of my own tide. Yeah. There's a screaming in there that telling me. a tip as usual after a dinner party i've tried to clear as much as i can i've moved the table back over here um 
and just created this space back where we had it. So we had the table here in the middle last time. I'm like absolutely exhausted. We're going to be having a chilling day today. Uh, hopefully sitting outside. The weather is okay. It's not amazing, but it's nice. So we're going to sit outside and have a barbecue. Um, and then I want to slowly tidy up. Please, can I have a bit of the chips? Uh -huh. Oh, those chips are my favourite. They chips. are the best, and these potatoes are the best. I'm just coming on to end my vlog here. It's been a very, very exhausting week. I hope that you have enjoyed watching it. And I hope you come back next week to see what I'm up to. Look at my wisteria. I'm very excited. There is purple flowers. This is amazing. If you have a wisteria tree or plant, I should say, in your house and you have got purple wisteria, it is amazing, isn't it? literally you wait for this for years so i'm so excited i actually have some wisteria coming um i mean as in purple flowers wishing you all a happy week and i will see you next week on here if you have not already click the like button please click like and please subscribe to my channel and tell everyone about it and i hope you come back and come and watch the next vlog next week is really exciting loads of things going on as usual I'm up to all sorts